Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. Now on this channel, I really enjoy talking about the future of aviation. Yes, what could the future plane look like? You know, we have talked planes like the super fast boom airplane, which we will actually see flying in the near future. Yeah, that plane is actually becoming reality, but we've also checked out planes like the Airbus 2050 concept, which was obviously predicting a plane in 2050. But today I thought we could go a little bit further than that. Let's maybe go for like 200 years. And uh, this is where this year comes in to play. Yes, today I thought it would be finally time to make a video about the Frontier Flight Simulator. They were actually very kind to also sponsor this video, which I really, really appreciate. You know, I don't normally do sponsors like this on this channel, but here I just took the very nice opportunity to check out this flight simulator simulator, which again plays in the future. And this is going to be kind of like a review of this flight simulator. And let me just mention right here, even though they sponsored this video, I can still obviously say my opinion about all what's happening here. Now, this flight simulator has quite a lot of storyline behind it um, that plays in the year 2236, you know, 200 years from now. And there's this long text. We're not going to read that. So let me just tell you about it while I fly, because that is what we're definitely here for. Now, um, we are not on planet Earth right now. We are on the planet called Aslan, or however it's pronounced. <laughs> yeah, people have actually left the Earth and now are traversing across the galaxy. And yeah, the planet of Aslan here that we're flying on right now turned out to be very, very suitable for colonizing, which is what humans did. And this planet is particularly good for harvesting resources, which is why humans have colonized here quite well. And we are about to crash there. Oh, that was very close. <clears throat> yeah. And you know, this planet also turned out to be very nice for flying stuff because it has very similar gravity to Earth. So, you know, that is no problem. The only thing that is a problem is that you cannot breathe out here. You have to, you know, wear an oxygen mask or something. That's like the only problem about this one year. And well, what we're supposed to do here is uh, fly around and maybe do some stuff like, you know, transport passengers and cargo or medicine or something and make money and buy planes. All right, you know what? Let's actually try landing here, this VTOL aircraft, because that's what we're flying around in right now. VTOL stands for vertical takeoff or landing, which is definitely the plane of the future. I mean, we've talked this before. We're definitely going to be cruising in a lot more VTOL planes in the very near future. Future. This aircraft that we have got right in front of us isn't actually so far from what we have today. The only thing that's a little diff- oh my goodness, what's that? Ha oh, oh, I've messed this up now. Yeah, that's what I was gonna mention later on, actually. The physics here are incredibly realistic. I don't know what I did wrong, but, uh, yeah. The thing is, when you crash, you don't, you know, die. You have an AI that flies you back to your base. Um, and that's kind of embarrassing, because, again, this is a sponsored video, but that's one other story. I mean, again, the only thing that is kind of different about this plane compared to the planes that we have today is obviously the propulsion system. It has a propulsion system that we don't have yet in this world, but it seems to work quite nice. This is an electrical plane by the way, it works with batteries. So for example, here we can recharge. Now, um, we have, by the way, just uh, gotten a brand new plane here by the insurance. That one cost us around 300 CR, which is uh, the currency that they have on this planet, or at least in this game. And well, now we're gonna have to transport some passengers in order to make that money back and maybe even upgrade. Actually, we have a few more ships to buy, like the Balena which costs a lot more than what we have right now. But that one is definitely a very, very large aircraft. But whatever, we have to make some money now. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Oh yeah, for example, here we have a job here. Here, for example, we have these rations that we have to buy and then bring somewhere. Let's go ahead and recharge as well. There we go. Battery is recharged. Everything is looking good. And we actually have the cargo on board as well. And we have to go to a station called Central or Airport, perhaps. Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. All right, let's go ahead and close the cargo door. Everything's looking good, and now let's set off. Oh, wow, that, that was a very quick ignition. Yeah, here, planes have really gotten simpler. We don't have to press anything. There's nothing we really have to do these days as pilots. The actual challenge that we have here, of course, is the terrain itself. <laughs> See, this is the default aircraft that you get when you start playing the game. And it's not necessarily powerful, so just getting above these mountains with a lot of cargo on board can be quite a harsh challenge itself. 
Oh, what is happening? What is that? Something is fi Oh, no. Oh, oh, yeah. We flew through this volcanic ash cloud. Yeah, there is a volcano here. I should have, um, I should have thought about that. Well, there we go. Um, first job is we're already, uh, we're already done with that one. Let's see, uh, being a pilot here isn't necessarily easy. I'm sorry about the rations. Yeah, let's, uh, maybe go to another place, I guess, because I don't think we're liked here anymore. Um, for example, here we have a suggestion. We can pick up some passengers. Of course, we are a totally safe air airline... I guess. Let's just do that real quick. Yeah, actually, there is a passenger waiting for us. Let's just... Oh, we're, we're crashing. Uh, oh, I think I've got it under control. I've got it. I've got it. All right. <clears throat> All right, landing. Oh, that was not particularly smooth. But we have actually landed. That's that's the point. Now we can pick up our passenger. Yeah, this is kind of Uber driving, but in 2,226. All right, let's open the cargo door there and let the passenger in or something. Oh, there we go. We have Paul Zonk that we have to transport somewhere. So let's just go ahead. There we go. He's coming in to our aircraft. Welcome aboard, Mr. Paul Zonk or something. Yeah, names really haven't gotten better over the past 200 years, have they? I mean, let's go to Nord, which is a uh, station somewhere on this island, I guess. Let's just go ahead. Uh, you are totally safe on board. Oh, there's this volcano again. We might not want to... Oh, no. I mean, that's actually quite realistic. Volcanic ash is really not good for a plane there. And the station of Nord is right ahead. Let's just not land on the actual pad here, but let's just, you know, go ahead and land on the ramp. That's what you're totally supposed to do. All right, and we're coming in for a nice landing. There we go. Touch, uh, touchdown. I mean, we have done a successful landing, and we can now deliver the passenger. Let's just open the door, and he can step out right now. Here we go. We have unloaded the passenger, and we have made some money. So that's a good thing. Think, though, down here, we're actually about to run out of battery. We might... Oh, damn, that was actually not a very smart idea to take off. I mean, we can just return back to the airfield, if that's possible. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, we just totally ran out of juice. Now, on the planet of Aston, we have either this island, but we've also got another island, which is a lot, lot larger here. Yeah, actually, I would really like to go to this island, but uh, I guess our plane's range that we have right now is, you know, not large enough. And maybe I should focus on getting to fly this plane properly. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and try taking off again. Oh, there we go. Let's maybe try getting some of that money back by selling some rations down here. All right. Let's maybe do a perfect landing now. I mean, you know, this is a sponsored video, so I kind of have to... Oh, oh no. Yeah, I mean, it's super interesting. I mean, we do have cargo on board. The plane is heavily loaded, which does very much affect the physics of how it flies here. Um, that's pretty realistically done, but let's go ahead. We are looking a little bit better. We haven't crashed into mountains just yet, so that's good. All right, landing gear is down. Let's go ahead and get this plane down as well. Come on. Oh... Uh, all right, there we go. We have uh, touched down successfully. Let's go ahead and taxi onto that pad here and unload the cargo. All right, there we go. That has definitely worked. And by the way, we do have a few viewpoints to choose from. This actually looks quite nice, you know, very cinematic with this engine. All right, something I do want to try, though, as well, is actually flying this volcanic ash and try saving the aircraft. There we go. Yeah, plane is definitely not happy. This is definitely some IFR conditions there. Oh, we have uh, engine fire. Now it's actually time for a sully landing. Let's push full power on this engine. There we go. And we're coming down to the ground very quickly, actually. Oh, this is more of a crash. And we did not even manage to hit the ocean, but that's no problem. Our AI is bringing us back. So yeah, guys, that is it with the review of the Frontier Pilot Simulator. Very, very nice one. Definitely Swiss Air Zero One approved, and we've just lost another aircraft. Oh, we can actually see parts of that aircraft flying. Definitely Swiss Air Zero One approved. Nice physics, nice idea, and also it's quite an interesting approach to how the plane or how the world, how the humanity will look like in the future. Uh, with the plane part, they're definitely right with the VTOL planes. Those are definitely coming very, very soon. I don't know about up this whole new planet thing, but that's a whole other story. Uh, yeah, I can very much recommend this. Uh, you know, the game is updated every two months. It has its own Discord channel as well. Uh, there's a lot of future updates coming with animals, tutorials, new ships, and also new islands. And yeah, you know, for the lockdown number two, I would definitely recommend checking out this one. But now it's at a 21% discount. So, you know, check it out. Link is definitely in the video description. And by the way, again, thanks to Frontier Park Pilot Simulator for sponsoring this video. And so, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.